Good afternoon. I'm here with my <laughs> lovely co-host, Maddie Herrera Bauer, Mayor Maddie Bauer of Miami Beach. Um, one of the first uh, female Hispanic elected, the, only, the first, uh, female. only female I think, Hispanic I think that's mayor. so important because that means that you can get there if you work. I'm telling you, it's hard for women to get elected yes. these days. Yes. It's harder and harder. We can't seem to make it uh, well, onto the now presidential ballot. it's harder ballot. and harder for anybody that's to get elected. Sure. There's a lot of money that you've got to raise. Yeah. I know it's true. Don't mess with Maddie Bauer, though, because you have served. How long were you elected 14 official? 14 years I served. 14 years. And she can ask a question that will destroy every lobbyist in no, the room no. and make your point heard. And uh, you're a great advocate for the residents of Miami that, Beach. That's what's important. And, you know, the person that you elect, what is important is that they care about re the residents. And, and, and you that, care. I feel I, I care, too. And, you I know, do. and we're know doing do. this community do. service. Uh, this item is the Miami Beach referenda items that will be on your November ballot or the ballot that you already have. And uh, we have a few items that we differ on. How many questions are there? Five? There's six. Six. Okay. There are six referendum questions in Miami Beach. Uh, the first three have to do with the redevelopment and uh, purchase of the Miami Beach Marina for $55 million. I'm voting no on this because I've and seen. I'm voting yes on that. And we have agreed. To disagree. to disagree and uh, she has debated this already and I don't want to debate this now and I hear somebody's coming to present the other side which is good oh okay good so we are going to move on questions one through three you uh, can make your own choice based on our different positions uh, we have a referendum questions four five and six now so Miami Beach referendum question number four um, it's an ordinance authorizing reconstruction of original floor plates within interior of historic buildings. So floor to area ratio uh, is used by the city to regulate the overall size of a building. I'm reading from the ballot. Currently, new floor area cannot be added to the interior of historic buildings that have no available floor area. So shall the city adopt an ordinance uh, authorizing reconstruction of original interior floor plates as part of the restoration of historic buildings if such floor plates were removed prior to June 4th, 1997. It's like, who I, can I, even you understand know, this, this? This was on the ballot before. Mm -hmm. And it failed. And it failed. And, I, and it's so complicated. Uh, some people said this is good for adaptive reuse, but I don't understand how you can. It, it, I think it's for movies and theaters mm -hmm. uh, that the floor. Uh, 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 but I think that then it becomes an issue of destroying the internal historic preservation. But uh, this is only to re to put the floor back if the floor was removed prior to June 4th, 1997. I don't know why there's such a random date embedded in that. But I do think I really that don't understand this. And when I really don't understand that because it's a historic district, because mm -hmm. they're destroying it already, I'm voting no on it unless somebody can clarify this for me. And nobody has been able. I have asked commissioners, and they say, well, it's for adaptive. But I, what does the FAR has to do with the base With the floor, the floor, with putting a floor. Something in this ballot question seems so, uh, confusing to me. I don't understand it either. If you have or don't have a floor, if you take the floor out, then you should be able to put the floor back without adding floor to area ratio to, to it. They're saying that right now, uh, the way that it's written, you can't. But I can't imagine the design review board or the, the HPB. I think that if you go into mansion and things, they have a stage. Mm -hmm. And they want to be able to redo the interior the, the, design. Right. I think, but I think the historic preservation says that you can do the interior for adaptive reuse. So I'm not understanding what this is. I really don't understand it. I cannot debate this issue. I uh, and because I don't understand it, and um, maybe Miami Beach, uh, well, that's Design the Preservation Expo League. I believe they're supporting this amendment. Well, unfortunately, I know you believe 
they're doing a good job, but I don't believe they're doing a good job. So, uh, you know, I, I don't I don't believe that to pay a salary as high as it's being paid. Uh, and you can you can we're, yeah, so. uh, we're very skeptical, uh, skeptical about <laughs> referendum question number four um, about adding any FAR or changing our historic preservation rules at all. So, Maddie, you're voting, voting no I'm on voting this one. No. I'm voting no. OK, I'm going to vote no on that one, too. OK, here we go. The next question is, do we want to increase the Florida area ratio for the Wolfsonian Arts District from 1.5 to 3.25? That is a large increase. That's a large increase. That is in our historic district. For those of you who don't know, the Wolfsonian Museum is located on Washington Avenue and what? 10th? 9th? It's right there. Uh, 10th. 10th. It's on uh, Washington and 10th. And um, I spoke to the uh, the people at the Wolfsonian, and they said that they need this expansion. Uh, at people, uh, preservationists, are many are, are supporting it because it is the Wolfsonian. But I know that you have a different perspective on this, well, and you can I, discuss I, it. I, I would I support the Wolfsonian, and and they're good people, and it's owned by uh, FIU, mm -hmm. and so you know it's an educational community the problem i have with this one is this how do you choose to give people more far do you do them because you like them and then the <laughs> ones you don't like you don't give the far or should the law be equal to everybody and and i have an internal turmoil on this because i want to say yes to them but on the other hand how do I say yes to them and no to somebody else? And you set a precedent. It's like spot zoning. I believe that Miami Beach is doing too many of that. And so, you know, I'm not going to decide right now. I'm going to do this privately so as not to influence somebody on my vote on this. But I believe you have to balance how you want to do this. I'm actually going to vote yes on this one because it is for the Wolfsonian, a nonprofit owned by FA FIU. I have to trust that at Florida International it's University will do trust. the right thing and expand this them. art center. I trust them. It's a I question of the law applying to everyone equally. And I not. don't think they're going to sell it. I think that, they, and that is something that is very good for me. I just think the law should be equal to everybody true and what is happening now is that we do laws and then we break them for the people we like and for the people we don't like we don't break that the fiu uh the uh, wilsonian already have no far because when they bought that property they used all the far they had to the one building mm -hmm. and so they knew that we're using all that FAR. And so now it's like, but but this is, uh, look, but this let is me the tell only... you, this is good compared to the FAR that we gave on Fifth uh, and Alton Road because this is the only thing I'm voting yes to out of all FAR. Out of so all six I'm, questions. I'm inclined for a yes, but I'm not saying I'm voting that now. Okay, so that's referendum number five. Um, do we increase the Florida area ratio or the size and allow the buildable density of the right. Wolfsonian Museum? Right. Um, I'm voting yes. Maddie is undecided as of right now. Right. Number five is the only one I'm voting yes to. I'm voting no on every single other one, which brings us to referendum question number six which is hidden back here. So this is the tricky one right here, which says an ordinance excluding certain areas of a building from calculation of Florida area ratio. By the way, Florida That's area ratio- That's not a tricky one. Is, is building That's density. something that they're breaking the law right now so and they saying, want to fix it yes. because they gave the fifth on Alton, I Well, think. let me explain the question before we even opine on Go it. Ahead. Floor <laughs> area is used by the city to regulate the overall size of a building. This is referendum item number six. Any increase to a property's maximum floor area requires voter approval under the city charter section 1.03. So, shall city adopt an ordinance excluding the following areas from calculation of FAR? Secured bicycle parking spaces, stairwells, elevators, electrical transformer, vault rooms, fire control rooms, related life safety equipment. This is... Parking this, also, right? This destroys the parking spirit. Also? 
This destroys the spirit and the purpose of the historic district FAR because forget those historic it, buildings historic district, are built all like that. Of Miami Beach, not all the, of Miami Beach, the density, because all of a sudden they are going to, you know, that they took all of the required parking away from the historic building. So we don't know how many spaces. We don't know what that means well, in terms in of adding on to the buildings. This is for new construction. Is that what it says? Well, I don't know. That it doesn't. Exactly. It says the city. Sh well, if they build again, then they can take all the FAR from all of these areas, secured bicycle parking spaces, stairwells, yeah, elevators. Is none of it's going to be calculated. Electrical transformer vault rooms and fire control rooms related life safety equipment. So they will take that and make the buildings denser. So this is a way of I think this is for the project it, on Ocean it could Terrace. The historic district, too. You're right, because if now there is a historic building that has uh, fire, uh, you know, the, the fire wells. Mm -hmm. and, and now they can add to that building more because it gives them more FAR. It's one or two so more stories Riley on the Ocean good, Terrace the Riley project. Is a good, the Riley is a good, a, a good case in point. If they take all the fire, you know, all if they remove things, all the staircases on a 20 story building right. or so a 10 story they building, added, they can add a larger tower to a historic building because they have more FAR. So it's a way of circumventing our charter and the spirit of historic no. preservation. This is amending on, the charter. It's amending is, the charter. It's a, it, this is amending the charter. And let me give a little background. Uh, a certain building got mm -hmm. this removed for them, the fifth and Alto, I think it was. Yes. Uh, the one, uh, and so then what happens wait, is... Wait, but wait, let's talk about that hearing. They went before the, these developers at Fifth and Alton who already got permission to build a 530-foot tower on Fifth and Alton with a tiny little park at the base, came back. They went before the, um, what is that, uh, the Variance Commission... What is that commission called? I can't remember. Any, anyway, but five, like two or three of members of the board worked for the developer and they voted on this. Okay. Can you believe it? So what happened is he got it. He got it. Mm -hmm. So what happened is this is the problem I have with the law. It equal for everybody. So now they mm -hmm. gave it to one. See, this is a great example of my issue with the Wilsonian. They gave it to one. You set a precedent. You can't give to somebody yes, at least government, and to somebody no. So all the other developers are coming and saying, I want the same thing when I build. So now what happens is they have to break the charter every time they give a developer uh, more FAR through this method. So they put it on the question so that the residents now take charge of it. I believe this is a no vote, so loud, so that they get the fact. Can you imagine the one on 41st Street? They, they got more density. They would get more density. So mm -hmm. Across the city, this so, would result. So when you take away, if you have to put three stories of parking, now these three stories of parking become three stories of apartment. So they can have more apartments and Everything more, we don't need more. If you calculate the effect of this across the city, oh. it could be millions of square foot oh, of more density and horrendous. building across the city. At the end of horrendous. the day, we do live on a small island. We still can breathe on Miami Beach. Our streets are not completely clogged yet but with all of this new density and all of the new construction and not upgrading our infrastructure and pouring all of this extra millions of square feet into Biscayne Bay that is already pretty much dead there's dead fish reported every single week we have to control the density on our beautiful little island in Miami Beach which is why I'm voting no and on this item I'm voting no and why in this particular one which I think actually is the most important question of Miami Beach and we should have talked about this and educate the people way in advance because this is the vision that you're going to give to Miami Beach and this is the vision that you're going to have from now on and the density and the traffic that you're going to have. So please vote no in this question. Yes, we are here to educate the community and to ask you for your no vote on um, everything except the Wolfsonian. <laughs> Thank you. No. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> She's 
No. Okay. I agree on, on the, the marina. On the marina. Okay. All right. Okay. The marina. <laughs> for Maddie, not not from me. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> 